Hi, I'm Tom Chick. Welcome to my dining room table on uh, March 22nd, 2020, uh, the, the month of the bear, according to this calendar. Uh, I've got a dungeon crawler called Deep Madness set up, and uh, I want to show you this this little trick that I don't know where I got it from. I think I just started doing it at some point in the past with dungeon crawlers that I think will help you uh, run your games more smoothly. Uh, let's take a look. Deep Madness is a fairly sprawling dungeon crawl that uh, I quite like, but I'll have more to say on, on that in the near future. Uh, as you can see here, there's a lot going on, a lot of miniatures for monsters and characters, a lot of tokens, a lot of these little plastic pieces. Certain tiles are, are red, that means they're bad tiles, or what's called devoured. Certain tiles aren't devoured yet, they will be later. Uh, we have here all of the characters lined up here, and I want to show you the turn track that determines when a monster goes and when a character goes. So this right here, which I've set up on a separate table, uh, has a list of the monsters that you're using in this scenario. One of the things I really like about this game is that you randomly deal out six monsters out of probably about 20 that are included in the game, and whichever six monsters you deal uh, determines a lot about how the scenario will play out. And there's a ton of variability, replayability in that. Now, above the six monsters, you have the investigators that you're using, uh, and they line up here, and after every turn, they shift where whoever went first becomes last, and whoever was second place becomes first. The turn order starts with a character that goes to the monster below her or him, above, below, the character, the monster, the character, the monster, and so forth, until the turn is over and it restarts where this cycles again. So what that means, six characters, six types of monsters, this seventh guy right here is just a boss for this scenario. And the turn order shifts in terms of the relationship amongst the characters and the monsters. The order is always the same, but whichever one, the sequence I should say, is always the same, but how they relate to each other will shift. So as this is tracking whose turn it is who has already taken their turn, who has yet to take their turn. Of course, the state of the board is changing as well. What if there were a way to more readily look at the board and immediately see who has gone and who hasn't? Because that's fairly important. Uh, in this particular scenario, this thing right here, uh, he's called a, a bathophobia, which uh, just I'm going to assume means fear of water like bathosphere, bathtub, right? I didn't even look that up. Uh, so this is a boss monster and he runs around, he's unkillable. These other things you can fight and you will want to fight. Uh, but what if I wanted to look at this and, and see, oh wait, who's gone already? Is this guy gonna get to move? Oh no, is this guy moving? Has he already moved? Normally I would have to look over at this side table where I've got this display. But here's a simple trick. Let's say, for instance, let's begin at the head of the turn and say, it's Elizabeth's turn. We put the marker there to show that it is her turn. And we come over here, she's this little purple one right here, and she moves, everybody gets three actions. Let's have her move three, spe oh, that's a terrible move because she just walked through a wall. She doesn't have that power. She gets three actions, let's have her go one, two, and maybe shoot this thing. Now, watch this. There's the little Elizabeth miniature. I've just turned her around 180 degrees. What's the big deal? Check this out. So now we come over here, and these monsters called Despairs, they're basically evil seaweed, they take their turn. Here's one of them. They actually don't move, they spawn stuff. Pretend I'm spawning stuff. They've taken their turn. I flipped them around 180 degrees. Keep watching. We come over here, it is Emma Kruger's turn. She is this blue one. Let's have her go one, two, and she closes a hatch behind her. 
there. And then we turn her around 180 degrees. Bear with me. There are no twisted on the board. Arthur goes, here's Arthur. He goes one, and maybe he does a search for a card and he finds something, and then he uh, rests. Nope, that's stupid, he has no reason to rest. He moves again, and we turn him 180 degrees. Coming over here, there's no immortals, pretend Prisco's. Purges, let's move our purges, these soldiers here. This one goes one space, turn him 180 degrees. There's another one, where's he? He goes one space, oh, can't move through the wall. Turn 180 degrees. So consider now that this board, some of the characters and monsters have moved, some haven't, some have yet to act. Looking at the board, I can tell who has and hasn't acted by who has their back to me. He's gone. She's gone. This monster's taken his turn. This monster's taken his turn. This monster has yet to go. Every turn, when you activate someone, when they're done with their activation, flip them 180 degrees so their back is facing you. And then on the next turn, flip them 180 degrees so that their face is facing you. And that makes it super easy to just look at the board in this sprawl of figures and tokens and, and miniature markers and tell who has yet to go. Uh, I find it super easy. And furthermore, check this out even. This little egg thing that I use as a marker. This determines whether or not facing away from me or towards me, because the weird little open bit, that's towards me. That's away from me. This determines who has yet to go. Uh, as they're moving here, I am activating the guys who are facing me. And then when I get done and reset this over here, we flip it around. So that might seem kind of dumb and self-evident. Uh, and again, I don't know where I picked that up, but it's how I've been playing dungeon crawls uh, for as long as I can remember. And it's a little tip that I bring to you on uh, March 22nd, 2020. Uh, come on back tomorrow. We'll see how the dining room table is progressing. I will bet you dollars to donuts. It's uh, more of this. Stay healthy, everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Oh, shoot a monkey. Ugh.